Hello everyone, welcome back to another how-to video and in this one we're going to be learning how we can enable developer mode on iOS devices and iPadOS devices. So this method will work on all the iPhones that have the current update of iOS and all the iPads that have the current update of the iPadOS. And this is the simplest method that's available out there. Like I have seen some videos that are suggesting to install some third-party software and or plugging in some fishy USB devices to your iPhones or iPads in order to enable the developer mode. But that is not the correct option. But if you have like a Windows computer, you do not have a Mac, then you will have to go to a separate route. And uh, this video is not for you, unfortunately. But if you have a Mac, then this video is definitely for you. And this is the easiest method that you will find on the whole internet on how to enable developer mode on your iPhone or iPad. So this is the example iPhone that we're using in this one. So this is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. And let me go to the settings real quick. And uh, so the developer mode option usually is available in the privacy and security section. If you click on it and scroll to the bottom, and as you can see at the bottom under security, like at the bottom of this uh, section of the settings, it only has stolen device protection and lockdown mode. There is no option to enable developer mode because this is the part where the option for enabling developer mode should be available. But in this one, it's not there. And so that's when the MacBook or Mac computer or desktop, whichever you have, comes into play. And you will also need a USB-C to C cable or USB-C to lightning cable, depending on what model of iPhone that you're trying to uh, enable developer mode on. The model that I'm using in this video is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So that's why we will need the USB-C to C cable. So one end of the C cable will be connected to the MacBook and the other end we will need to connect to our phone. But before doing that, so these are the three things that you need. So the phone or the iPad that you're trying to enable the developer mode on, the MacBook, or Mac desktop, any kind of Mac OS device, and a cable, USB-C to Lightning or USB-C to USB-C cable, depending on what type of device that you're trying to enable the developer mode on. And once you have all these accessories, on your Mac, you will need to go to the App Store and search Xcode. The first result that will be popping up. It's for Xcode and it's an application by Apple. So it's a first party application and uh, it's uh, free for every single computer. So you will just need to go to App Store, search Xcode and install the software. So I have already installed it. Once you have installed it, what do you need to do? You will need to open Xcode. So this is Xcode. I will launch it. Once it opens, you don't need to do anything else over here. That's it. We are not creating a project. We're not doing anything. So now connect one end of the USB-C cable to the MacBook. Connected. And the other end of that USB-C cable will go to your iPhone. Or if you have a lightning device, then that'll go to. And once that is done, if you're connecting your phone to the Mac for the first time, then it'll probably give you a pop-up to trust the device or do not trust or something like that. Just follow the on-screen on instructions and make sure you trust that device. As you can see, we still not have the option to enable developer mode. So what you'd need to do here, make sure you close settings. Once you close settings from the background and open settings again, and then scroll to the bottom and select privacy and security. And then scroll to the bottom again. As you can see over there, we have an option to enable developer mode now. So this is how you get that option to come up in the settings menu. So now, in order to enable developer mode, just follow the instructions as, I, as I'm doing. Click on developer mode and then click on like toggling it on. And then it says when developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. Restart your device to turn on the developer mode. So because developer mode unlocks 
a lot of the options and customizations for iOS devices in order for the developers to test their application and break them, play around with them. So that's why some of the security features will be disabled. So make sure that you know what you're doing before enabling developer mode. And once we just click on restart, so just make sure that uh, the cable is still plugged in. So one end is plugged into the iPhone, other end is plugged into the Mac and Xcode is still open. We're not doing anything else on the Mac. This is just for making that option like come up in the iPhone settings. So we'll just wait for iPhone to turn on. All right, so the iPhone has turned on. Now it says ready to enable developer mode. Developer mode allows you to use features that are required for app development. When developer mode is turned on, your device security will be reduced. So another kind of uh, like a little warning. So swipe to continue. So we'll swipe and it's there. Are you sure you want to enable developer mode? So just click enable. And then it'll ask for the passcode of your device for security purposes, of course. So let me enter mine. Okay, so I have entered the passcode and the iPhone will just turn on. Okay, so iPhone has turned on, everything is good now. And now let's go to the settings. Now scroll to the bottom. As you can see, at the very bottom of the settings menu, there is an option that says developer, but just wanna make sure, so go to privacy and security, scroll to the bottom, developer mode, and as you can see, developer mode is turned on at the moment. So that's really, really good. And go back. And at the bottom of the settings menu, there is that developer options. So over here, you can customize anything. You can just play around with a bunch of different settings. If you want to know how we can enable Metal Performance HUD for our iPhone for testing video games and uh, like the performance of the video games and frame rates and stuff, let me know in the comments down below. I have a tutorial for that. I will make a video. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.